Excuse me, sir. We got a report of somebody flying a drone out here. No, sir. I don't have a drone. Not sure if you're aware or not, but there are drone laws here in Canada. Now, as a general rule, DJI Spark or a bigger drone, it usually goes by weight, requires you to have a license. There's two licenses. There can be a beginner's license or an advanced. Do you have either one? Oh yes, I am aware of the drone laws here in Canada. And just so you were aware, the Canadian public was advised to call 911 if they see somebody flying a drone. They actually want people to call 911 for people flying a drone? Who made that decision? Well, that call was made by the Canadian Prime Minister. Well, sir, I can assure you I don't have a drone. Sir, I don't think you're being 100% truthful, but I'm going to be in the area just in case. Feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water Let me have my peace And leave me to tomorrow Welcome back to the channel guys Today's just gonna be a short video, I hope and it's going to be about drones. And the reason is, is because Canada just came out, I think it was June 1st. Canada came out with new drone laws. Uh, don't make a whole lot of sense to me. Obviously, I live in Ontario, so this affects me directly. i give you the good, the bad, and possibly the ugly. Let's get started on this real quick. It says all drones that weigh between 250 grams and 25 kilograms must be registered with, with Transport Canada. Well, without weighing your drone, I can tell you that this DJI Spark falls in that category. So if you have a DJI Spark drone or heavier, it has to be registered with Transport Canada. All pilots of drones that weigh between 250 grams and 25 kilograms, again, the Spark, must get a drone pilot certificate. Now, there are two classes of certificates. One is the beginner's which allows you to fly your drone anywhere, say we call it out in the county here in Ontario, but anywhere out in the country, away from buildings, away from people, stuff like that, you can fly your drone and below 400 feet. The other one is the advanced. The advanced allows you to fly your drones near populated area, uh, near buildings. I still think you got to be below 400 feet, but you can still you can still fly your drone within an urban area. Also, must have line of sight on your drone at all times. So there's no just watching your screen and sending it out a mile and a half and having a look at whatever. You have to have line of sight on your drone. Regardless of what license you have, you must have line of sight. Obviously, this is common sense. And, and a, lot of, a lot of this is in here because of people doing this. Uh, you must fly away from emergency operations or advertised events. Uh, major car crash on the highway. Obviously, avoiding far, avoiding forest fires, outdoor concerts and parades. Uh, cannot fly within 5.6 kilometers or 3 nautical miles of an airport or heliport. And common sense. Now, a lot of this is common sense, but a lot of it is not common sense. In the opening, you saw me make the joke about the uh, somebody called 911. That was actually put out by the Canadian government telling people to call 911 if they see somebody flying a drone near people. That's not, no, not, that's not what 911 is for. So please don't call 911 for somebody flying a drone. Anyway, so here's the deal. The good, the bad, the ugly. So just like anything else, the government wants to put their hands in things. So they want to put their hands in on our drones. The reason for this is, is because somebody somewhere in Canada took their drone up to the 23rd floor or 24th floor of a skyscraper and videotaped somebody in their apartment. True fact. Also, and I've seen it, drones have been flown over emergency scenes, uh, different areas where drones shouldn't have been flown, drones have been crashed into crowded areas, um, and that's why these laws are coming into effect. Just like with other, other laws that the government produces, us as normal law-abiding citizens, we have to pay upwards of four or five hundred dollars to get a license for this. Everybody else is just going to go fly their drone. So. 
they they have a tendency to blanket the whole group as opposed to target the individual. I'm going off on a rant that I don't need to go off on right now. But anyways, there's the reasons. There are idiots out there with drones causing problems, which has forced the government's hand to regulate them. Now the good side to this. The good side to this is for companies like mine. I own Two Creeks Media. I produce 30 to 60 second videos for companies to tell their story on their social media platforms. If not everybody can fly a drone because you don't want to go buy the license for it. If I have a license, I'm going to be more in demand because I have a license to fly a drone, which means I can give a different perspective on the company's story. I also use this drone in my YouTube videos. And the reasons we have the drones, one, they're fun to fly, but two, they tell a broad story of where you are. They give an overall picture of what you're looking at. And it helps with the cinematics in your video. And that's why I bought the drone. From a commercial standpoint, absolutely. Companies like the aerial view of their facility. However, if the government now requires you to have a license to fly this drone, you may not get the contract to tell this company's story. So that's the upside to it. While there is negative to it, there is also positive. From a business standpoint, you have a license, you have a drone, you're good to go. So guys, that's about all I got for this video here. I just wanted to bring this to you and let you know that things have changed in Ontario. Um, and it's due to the bad apples is what it is. And, and at some point when things go south on any particular th item, the government steps in and puts on a regulation. And of course, they charge money to get something. So it's just the way it goes. But look at the positive side. From a business standpoint, you may have a step up on your competition having a license for your drone. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. I think I'm going to go fly my drone. I'll see you on the next one. Later. Been feeling trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for. Feels like I'm gonna lose. Silence takes a hold. I can't let it go. Chain up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas throw me in open water. Let me have my peace and leave me till tomorrow. Wind into my sail, away from things I let go. Floating on the wave.